Got a text into 78592 that says, what's on my mind? Mm. Never bring your dog to the beach, especially what? if he has the first name Shark. <laughs> really confusing. Lots of people screaming for absolutely no Why reason. Why are you calling it over Shark. here? Shark, get over here. It's time for us to share, though, <laughs> so what's been on our minds. Because oh. we're going to go around the room real quick and see what each member of the morning show has been thinking about lately. Starting with Brooke. Brooke, what's on your mind? So I had, like, a legit super scary night the other night. We, oh, I, no. we oh, were no. going to sleep, and all of a sudden we hear this cop car and see these lights going. And the guy gets out, the cop gets on the loudspeaker. It's like, come out. We have, you know, a suspect for a robbery. Come out. The canine unit is coming in. Oh, Brooke, scary. what did you do it five was... minutes before that? <laughs> <laughs> it was super scary. And it wow. went on for like an hour of the police going up and down oh, our street. My daughter my was freaking gosh. out, right? Mm-hmm. Thinking that some like mass murderer was on the loose. Yeah. So we started to play uh, Gladys Kravitz School for Girls, which is what my what? mom used to do is when I was little. Is that a movie or is that no. a song? I think old it's from an old record? TV show. My mom used to do it because the cops were in our neighborhood growing up a lot. And what is that? Like, it was. It was just. We would learn how to spy on the neighbors. Is you know, it a game? Make it a fun, is it a game? Yeah. I don't. Okay. Know, I don't understand what it is. Still. It's a game. Okay. It's just okay. a game that my mom made up to make the cops less scary when to they're like, you know, oh. doing a standoff across the street. Okay. okay anyway, so you're it happens so often that yeah. you had to make yeah. a game for it. Amazing. <laughs> we're in my hometown. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then so we're like, yay, standoff. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that helped with my daughter. Good. But then they really did bring the canine unit in, you guys, and uh. they went through everyone's backyard, our backyard. My husband went out to try to talk to them, and they're like, "Sir, get in the house!" Like, like oh. it was oh, no. frightening. I like, see your husband like, "Get off my lawn, lo- guys. That's my yard." Uh, he was yeah. all concerned about the grass. Oh, no. So what it, happened? They never caught the guy, which, oh, you know, no. then I'm like, oh, no. my God, there's some, like, crazy on the loose psycho. I find out two days later yeah. it was all over a $20 shoplifting incident at the grocery store behind my house. What? <laughs> exactly. A $20? What? I thought. <laughs> and it? Yeah, the guy, the, he got chased. He punched the worker from the grocery oh. store. Oh, that's awful. It was just terrible, right? But, like, do but we need to bring the canine units in seems for like that? He, like he hurt a bunch of people or something. So I just want to let you know, all is fine. There's oh, no okay. mass anything in my, there's no crazy, like. Okay, you're okay. <laughs> the kids are okay. And the guy got away with the 20 I bucks. I want to learn the spying. Game. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to play that. Yeah. Gladys Kravitz School for Girls. Gladys so Kravitz, yeah, you could okay. use a new name, maybe. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom gave it. Well, my mom gave it. Jose. Sorry, that was a long story, but it was a wild I'm story. Glad you, I'm glad everyone's yeah. okay. Jose, what's been on your mind? So Post Malone was in town recently. Yes. And I went with a big group of people, including Alexis. Mm-hmm. Mm. And here's how it went. Here's how it went. When when she first shows up. With Alexis. Me. With Alexis. <laughs> oh, was oh. a complaint about her? She asked. I'm a fun time. <laughs> hey, should I curl my hair again? I already did it, but should I do it more? Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was, well, I showed up at his house. I drove like 20 minutes, but so you like, brought, deflated a little. You brought your curly hair? Oh, I brought a whole bag. I might need to redo my makeup. I might have outfit change. I, I wasn't know, sure, so I brought a whole other outfit. You were just going with Jose to the show, right? She, I don't know. Yeah, but I was indecisive. And oh. we're with record label people. I don't know. Maybe she thought she was going to meet Posty. I don't know. But <laughs> here's the thing. Then she just she, wants to look good for Jose. Then oh. she no, says... I thought I'd get a cute photo. Yeah. <laughs> then she says, oh, are my nails okay? I, I should have done them better. I forgot to paint them. Uh, I'm sorry. Again, I'm po- so sorry. And she's apologized. Well, I'm sorry. Posty would be able to see that from the stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> They're right? really bad right now. So then we're walking outside. Alexis is literally shivering. Oh. Right? I'm like, did you not bring a jacket? I did she's wear a tube top. A little tiny tube top. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm like, uh, no. She goes, no, I didn't. <laughs> so then I take off my jacket. Like, here, here's my, yeah. you know, my, boom, my oh, boomer jacket. My I bomber know. jacket. <laughs> okay. Here you go. And she goes again. I'm sorry. I'm so okay. sorry. And now so, you're freezing. And well, Yeah, which is fine. Whatever. I'm chubby, so it doesn't <laughs> matter. But here's the thing is. Obviously, it's a crutch. Everything is, I'm sorry. So I want to help Alexis. Oh, you, you think oh. I apologize too much. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you it's, think yeah, you do. I agree. Oh, yeah. I agree. So I, here's how you're going to do this, Alexis. Anytime you're thinking of saying, I'm sorry, you need to just say, I'm horny. What? And that will Wait. immediately break it out of your head because you're going to be like, I'm horny. Oh, did I, I not do my nails? I'm horny. This is and what Jose wants so Alexis to say. <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> I, I also 
also think Alexa should stop saying I'm sorry, but I don't know that that's what we should really It's a trick. Look it up online. It is a really? proven trick, and it will help you break the cycle because you'll embarrass yourself. I just don't want to say anything at all now, actually. <laughs> okay. It well, kind it of worked. muted me. <laughs> there we go. See, I don't just, say me, that around just me telling you that. <laughs> it worked. You're hey, welcome. Well done, okay, Alexis. Well, sorry I'm annoying or not sorry? No. no. I mean, I'm, you're, I'm, you're, I'm, you're, I'm you're annoying. Yeah, you're horny. I'm nothing. Nothing. Tell us what's been on your mind, Alexis. So, I saw one of my friends um, who's in town for the weekend. She shows up to me and she has this box in her hand. And I instantly know what's, what it's going to be, okay? It's going to have a candle inside, some little mini bottle of alcohol, and it's going to say, I can't say I do without you, you know? Okay. Oh, oh, right. It's an wedding. invitation to yes. be a bridesmaid. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. oh, so that's like when you're a oh. part of the wedding. Oh, I just already know. I see it, and this is the seventh time I've been asked to be in a wedding. Oh, damn. <laughs> and I know it's coming. And so, wait, that's you're not brag. excited? Like, it, no, you I'm don't e- want to be in her wedding? No, I'm excited. It's just that, like, it's my seventh one. It's like the third one this year. I have to get another dress. Sucks. And Everyone loves you. Did you say did you say yes? No, I said yes. No, I'm excited, but just the dresses, they always end up at my mom's house in the closet. They're stained with alcohol, so I can't rewear them. (laughs) Some of the straps are rebroken. And I just feel like I'm turning into that movie 27 dresses. Yeah. Yeah. It's where this is going. Well, yeah, she's a bridesmaid 27 yeah. times. Oh, it's Catherine that Heigl. Awful. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly oh right. Yeah. So you're asking, when is it my turn right now? <laughs> no, I just feel, no, not that. I'm just complaining. Because oh, it's oh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's it's okay. a good I'm counting. Like, I think I'm going to be in over 10 total. Her friends listen yeah. to the show are like, oh. No, it's just, and then when Brooke gets remarried, that's another one. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. I, I just feel like I need to, like, capitalize on how many times Brooke, it's happening, yeah. you know? You do need another wedding, even if it's no, to Michael again, not, so we can get Alexis involved. I don't do those renew the vows things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hate that. Did that. I think it's no. so cheesy. Wow. And yeah. also, you want your friends to be more creative with how they ask you, because it's the same way every I single time. I do have time. a lot of candles, insulated tumblers, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. many bottles of wine. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's just getting predictable at this point, you, you know? Yeah, you're like, yeah. I know, I know, don't even say it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I want like a spin-off or something. But and they're expecting like tears from you when you say yes. yes. Like, uh, and I saw the box and I knew. Yeah. Should we wrap this up? I'm getting yeah. invited to another wedding in two hours. <laughs> That's all. I'm horny. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> No. All right, Jeffrey. Besides that, what else is on your mind? So sometimes I pick up groceries. Where it's like you show up and you, the workers put the groceries in the back oh, of your I car for it. you. Dude, oh. it, that has been the best thing out of the pandemic. I've never done that. You order them online and they just deliver. Oh, wow. It's right. really oh. convenient. Yeah. But this recently was the first time ever that I had to complain. Oh, no. Because as, <laughs> as the young man was mm. putting it into my trunk, uh-huh. I noticed the ham was right on top. Okay. And I said, hey. And sure enough, I look at it. It wasn't sliced right. The ham, the oh. deli ham, the deli ham. Well, that's what you get when you don't go in by yourself. Like that's the risk that you they take yeah. when you order. You. It was yeah. too thick, oh, God. and I asked okay. for thin sliced ham. You did not <laughs> send the ham back. Also, <laughs> no. it was a pound and a quarter, and I had only asked for a pound. They give you more. Well, that's, that's nice. A good thing. I'm, I'm not going to eat that much ham. <laughs> How am I supposed to eat that much? It's going to be wasteful. How now I'm paying more for ham. ham I'm not going to eat. Thick ham cutlets. So <laughs> I, I asked the guy. I'm like, no. hey, can you please go back in and get me new ham, like the ones that I asked for? Oh, oh no, Jeffrey. And get... he goes, no. <laughs> yeah. He looks at me and says, no. And I, but I told him, I was like, well, no, look, this has happened to me before, and I haven't said anything, but my ham just isn't right. <laughs> and he had some issue going on with his eyes where he probably would have rolled them at me if he could have, but oh, he couldn't. Okay. He just refused to help me. So oh, no. I was like, well, I have to do this. I have to go in and complain to the supervisor. You went in? Went into the yes. store. No, you didn't. I oh, sought out the manager and I, the Karen over ham. I started off by saying, look, I, I don't want this guy to get fired. I'm not trying you to create a problem. <laughs> fire this guy bro. but i'm like look he is refusing to help me when i'm asking for help and uh, she starts laughing at me yes, and goes yes. oh no 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 we don't fire people here anymore yeah we we're can't. lucky to have everybody nobody wants to work here yeah. <laughs> so that's when i realized i had sense. to go get my own ham from the deli uh, it's a ham scam are you jewish <laughs> okay. okay. Yep, and I'm wow. also betraying my religion by doing wow. it. Thanks for bringing that up. I just saw His rabbi's like, listening. Wow. Am I wrong? I'm you just, sorry, Jeff. Okay, yeah. I'm a, I'm a bad customer and a bad Jew. Thank you, bro. <laughs> We're, don't let her shame you, Jeff. That's what I know. Just asking. Yeah, I'm a bad Jew. We got it. Text in 78592. Tell us what's been on your mind. Don't eat your thick ham in the dark. <laughs> it's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.